But we start at Fratton Park, a ground which last saw second division football seven years ago. And our commentator there today, Gerald Sinstad. Well, there's nobody who typifies the Portsmouth spirit better than Steve Hazelwood. Last Saturday at Doncaster, he broke his nose for the second time this season. But he'll be in there today, battling with the best. There were injury scares this week about John McLaughlin, Achilles tendon, and leading scorer Alan Bailey, who's had a groin strain. But as you see, they are both OK. Bailey, indeed, needs only one more goal to have his best ever scoring season. As for South End, they've got their strongest side out, bearing in mind that they balanced the books a couple of months ago by selling Dave Cusack and Anton Atulakowski to Millwall. But that's given a chance to a couple of 18-year-olds, Warren May and today's substitute, Adrian Owens. South End's leading scorer is Steve Phillips, their skipper, with 12 goals. Our referee today comes from Bristol. He is Mr Eric Reed. South End will kick off there in the all red strip. Pompey in blue tops and white shirts, and Portsmouth will be playing from the left. We've got a bit of cloud about, but also some sunshine. Here's Phillips for South End. Greaves unable to come onto the pass, and it's Sullivan, and it's also offside against Bill Rafferty. Hazelwood. Powerful presence in the penalty area. This time the left-footed in-swinger from Rogers. Deep, and the goalkeeper didn't get it, but Dylan did! Goalkeeper's mistake, punished emphatically by Kevin Dillon. Pulled out, in-swinging, but deep. Pressure couldn't hold it, and Dylan smashes it in. So that's put the Pompey fans in party mood. It's now Portsmouth 1, South End at nil. That's the message from Fratton Park. Header, then Webb. Webb again. Push. Calling, but the pass for Rafferty was equally good. Rafferty against Pennyfather. Rafferty's left foot shot, and Corston saves. Portsmouth waking up after the half time break. Doyle. Dylan. Rogers. Rogers with room to cross. Rafferty! That's more like it. Build up was fine. Finish was off target. Rogers again with the kick. Corson didn't make the catch, and Pennyfather heads out, not for the first time, the goalkeeper getting hands to the ball but failing to hold it. Got his hands there but didn't hold it, and Pennyfather rescued him, and here's the next corner, and there's Bailey! There's a gap in the smile! But the sentiments are plain. Well, I don't think there can be much doubt about it now. Alan Bailey gets his 25th goal of the season, and that's a personal record for him. Celebrations all round Fratton Park.
Rafferty. Doyle breaking. Can he get there? Good goalkeeping. Gorston out well. Looks as though Bobby Doyle was looking to get his name on the score sheet. Puts it out for the corner. I have a feeling that it uh, may actually be South End's first corner of the game. Bobby Campbell, whose uh, name has resounded round Fratton Park today. Corner played short to Pantney. Off Rafferty and another corner. again and the goalkeeper couldn't get there but Rafferty has hooked it away and all around this ground the fans now beginning to make their way down onto the touchline and the police having difficulty keeping them back in the middle couldn't get it through clearance collected by Doyle Sullivan Rogers Rogers cross Rafferty coming and Moody puts it out into the crowd for the corner hardly room for the players now as the fans begin to prepare that will surely come with the final whistle. Rogers finding it difficult to get room to take the corner. And there was a foul on Bailey there. Fast unnoticed and Webb shot wide. Two minutes to go. Pushed by Hazelwood. Well, it's a time for singing now, and it's difficult for the players. But Rafferty has unleashed a good pass from out for Rogers. Can Rogers do it? He's hit the post. Turns it back for Webb, and Webb has hit the goalkeeper. Corston made a good save, and Webb was denied. We've got fans on the pitch. Goalkeeper is still down. I think the ball from Webb may have hit him in the face. Fans encroaching several yards onto the pitch on the far side, and there's one minute to go. Referee checking his watch. There's an offside flag now, which the referee hasn't seen, and the ball has gone into the crowd. We are now actually into the time that Mr Reed is adding on, and I think that uh, a prudent decision here now might be the final whistle. Referee determined to see it through. There is a law of common sense in most referees' books, and I don't think uh, anybody here would expect South End to score once, let alone twice. Linesman really has uh, no room to operate there at all. second division. They made no mistakes this afternoon against South End 
and they dominated for most of the match. Fans now calling for Bobby Campbell, the manager, and there's a shirt tossed to the fans and a precious souvenir for someone. Bobby Campbell, Mick Tate, Alan Rogers there. And these are the signs, that these are the scenes just in the dressing room area. And in there, they'll be able to hear the fans calling for them. And we'll be seeing them, I think, any minute now in the director's box. Goalkeeper Alan Knight. And the cheer tells you that the players are now out to appear. Billy Rafferty in the number nine shirt. Bobby Campbell waves. Bratton Park pitch has disappeared under a sea of blue and white. It's going to be a long night of celebration here at Portsmouth. Manager Bobby Campbell, what are your feelings on this afternoon? Well, I think words fail you at a moment like this in your career, when your team's just down promotion after a very, very hard season. And you know, how can you put words to this occasion? I guess it's been worse for you on the touchline, perhaps, than it was for the players on the field. Well, I don't know. I think it was bad for some of the... How many people here today? Just under 18,000. Just under 18,000 people. I think we all shared the excitement and the nerves and the tension. But in the end of the day, it was a wonderful result, and the boys have done it. And, Mr Chairman, an ambition fulfilled for you too? Yes, indeed, yes. This is one step further on the, on the trail. Let's hope we make the next one pretty quickly. I think we might ask you for a toast to next season now. Yes, cheers. Cheers to next season. Cheers. Steve, I think we've seen rather more of your nose than any other part of you this season. Well, that's the, that's the third time I broke it last week, but it uh, doesn't really matter now. You know, it's great to be up. I missed it when we went up from the fourth, actually. I missed the last couple of games with injury, and I was really sick about that, so... Did you determined you're going to play today? I was, yeah. I had a bit of a knee injury, and I broke my nose last week, where I was determined to play, so... And you enjoyed it? it? I did, yeah, except for the bang on my nose today. <laughs> That was a bit sore. How did you do that again? But I just caught the back of his head. That's all I always do. I just put my head in and then just catch the back of people's heads, really. So you'll be looking forward to, to denting it on a few second division centre forwards next season? Uh, I would hope I'll dent them rather than them dent me, but the way it goes, it's always my nose. It used to be my eye, but now I seem to lead with my nose, so it's a bit better, really. Right, Alan, give us a smile. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's crack, isn't it? It's crack. <laughs> You've certainly paid for your promotion, haven't you, this season? Especially the last few weeks, yeah, it seems to have all come right at the end, but they're worth it. I mean, every time we come here in the wars, last time it was your eye. Well, John Simpson, the old physio at Cambridge when we were there, used to say, these are the medals you get. It's all worth it when you see it today. I mean, the crowd are unbelievable. Best day of your career? Fun. It's got to be, yeah, it's got to be. You've had curious sort of ups and downs, haven't you? Third division, second division, first division? Some are just better ups than others, you know, it's just great to be playing football and times like this, you don't want to look back, do you? And a Try personal to scoring record to remember it by, too. Yeah, you never want today to finish, do you? No. That's great. You enjoyed your goal? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. But it's worth it, the lads have worked very hard all season. And I honestly believe we're the best team in the third division and it would be an injustice now if we couldn't go on and get the championship, really. It's, it's down to the lads, it's a team game. We're all together and we've battled 100% and we're there. Alan Biley, the man the other players call Wurzel Gummidge, smiling through there despite losing a tooth during the match. So then some marvellous moments for Pompey and for their fans. And now, of course, they want to go up as champions. And Portsmouth, as we can see, could clinch the title on Tuesday night. They're at home to Warsaw, and victory then would mean that their 88 points and superior goal difference should put them out of the reach of all of their rivals. The top three, by the way, all promoted. Well, some more key promotion...